Good day, mates. Near lost here, and welcome back to Front Mission 3. Specifically, welcome to the 6th internet browsing video. And yes, this creepy music does set the tone for what just happened here. And also in a slightly earlier save point. That save point being before episode 23. But on the path where we did not get Jose. Let's go to the network. We're going to do some internet browsing. But first, let's check our mail. We did not get mail. And we cannot send a mail. To the forums. Because we are looking for news. Let's go to Japan first. Let's go to the corporations. And let's uh, learn about what's happening at Kirishima right now. Bonds or inspections. Accordance with the Ministry of Trade Directive, beginning next month, inspections of bond shipments will require that inspections the officer be present. There are currently some qualified inspectors. However, this has proven to be insufficient during peak funds or shipment periods. We request that some managers now receive WCP qualification. The company will cover all expenses. Qualified WCP personnel receive a commensurate raise. To ask your supervisor for details, those are in WCP qualifications and CUNY in general affairs. Assignments for next month. Government admin, Okinawa Vonser test site. Questioning. Oh, that's what happened to Koike. Or I systems admin. Takahiro Tanakawa. The only factor admin. Yep, it's admins, techs, and. Hmm. We are not listed. There's probably reasons for that. There. To our uh, trusted Japanese news site, JBNN. We have different graphics here today. What's happening in Japan? So, economic growth forecasted. The economic plan agency presented this year's economic forecast, and this year's growth is expected to be below last year's. This report casts shadow over next year's national budget. Currently under discussion, the defense budget is expected to suffer major reductions. Defense reductions normally face resistance from defense lobbyists, but this time the reaction was calm in light of Tabata's upcoming trial. Domestic heavy industry stock prices plunged in reaction to this news. Hmm. Bao's invasion failed. The DHC units that invaded the OCU Philippines began a sudden withdrawal several days ago. There has been no confirmation by DHC. Military sources say the DHC fleet suffered a devastating blow. Skeptics believe such a powerful anti ship weapon was used and suggest the computer system flaw or hacking with spenders as possible causes. Well, in a way, we did, uh. There was some hacking involved, just not of that kind. The Philippines have, has not released details of the attack against the HG fleet, so the actual cause remains unclear. I don't blame them. Nonetheless, the OC welcomes the end of conflict. And foreign affairs. Question. Riko uh, <coughs> Akasaka. The US announced that they are ready to friend industrial technology and DHE military technology that included in the deal. The deal is part of the continuing effort for economic alliance with DHC and includes general industrial products, automobiles, and aircraft. This will give the DHC industrial capability comparable to the US and the OCO. Some critics say a part of the deal can be interpreted as providing the DHC from Wanzer technology. The starting date of the assistance has not been made public. It may begin this year, according to US and sources. Hmm. That's not suspicious at all. 
Is there anything else in the editorial office? Bolton Lord. Yuko, title Lost Kitty. My kitty is lost. Help me find her. Her name is Mew. From sysadmin, title, sorry. I feel very sorry for you. Maybe you should look for her around your house first. I hope you find her soon. Nah. And we're gonna look in here again. Remember, kids, remember to eat your yams. We have more files. Oh, yeah. JDF Yokosuka Basin said. Maintain secrecy. Rich Roberts, you tell your specs of this report. The accident itself might have been cover up operation. Auction source to the Department of Public Safety or OCA Target Intelligence. No need password. Yeah, I think I covered this in Internet Browsing 5, actually. So what I'm going to do is. I'll look up three. Actually, what's two? Cargo movements. Odd times, extra security. That's standard. May four agents are interested in transferred item, including US and FAI. Is the web page in case you need it. And three. USN DHC, employee number La. It is rumored that US is assisting the Huala and the Rebels. I have information that supplies, including weapons, will be delivered soon. This might be in response to the DHC's plan to finish off the Rebels. I also have information the US is preparing to send aid to the DHC. One could be a bluff. I'm continuing my research. Well then. No need to be here. Alright. Let's check the other and check to see if Armored Kin Spender's site has updated anything. To download. Well, we have all that stuff already, so. Let's check out the BBS. And we have a second post now. Got the password for a DCN event search. It's DCN09. Uh, you sure this is okay? Had problems installing. Well then. DCN09. Hmm. Alright. Gotta do our ritual of being this part of the internet by going here, going to what's new. And as always, vote for our sister. Sorry if everything seems slow right now. I am uploading a thing currently. Let's go to Australia. To the corporations. DCN. We got a password. For something. Who's from ocean to the other? DCN connects the world with information. Topics. Dilly Canberra News Network. EOCU. Explosion of the Philippines from Manuel Lorenzo. Vanilla. Houston military force invading the Philippines wiped out by a mysterious explosion. 
You can see troops destroyed in the blast were on their way to tall base after laying on Batangas. The explosion caused several casualties of Batangas. It is still unknown who set off the explosion. The blast was initially thought to be a nuclear explosion, but local reports confirmed otherwise. There's no radiation after all, right? The Philippine government and the OC Congress made a stern protest against the HE and declared a state of emergency in Batangas. Well then, internationally speaking. President George Shakov visits Ravnoy from Johnny Kidman of Belarus. President George Shakov of the Zafir Republic paid a courtesy visit to Ravnoy. Zafir being the equivalent of Russia, I think. And Ravnoy, I think, is Belarus. The president arrived on the 16th and is scheduled to visit Ravnoy National Research Laboratory and other industrial facilities. National Research Laboratory is one of the largest research organizations in the world, with 35 sites in 11 cities. The yeah, Statue of Peace, contributed by Zafter, will be presented on the final day of this visit. Oh then. Did I check that out? Oh no, in case I didn't, I'll uh, take a look later. To the editorial office. On the bulletin board. Check. I'm a 27 year old housewife from Melbourne. I was impressed by the volunteers and your special report clearing the ruins from Dhaka. I held a garage sale for my neighbors and raised a small contribution for those who suffered from the war. Where can I send the money? Thank you very much for reading our report. Please access the largest NGO website for contact information. I also recommend directly emailing the local volunteers. Well then. I don't know if we get access to that website. Anyway, do special investigation. File code. Hmm. Let's try that password we got earlier. There we go. Found secret investigation file 3. Explosion Batangas. There are no further reports on the explosion itself. It was, however, confirmed that the explosion was caused by the OC military. There were eyewitness reports of an OC plane flying over Batangas before the blast. Since the explosion took place in the air, it is safe to assume that the airplane played a hand in the explosion. Hmm. At least the DCN may know what's up. Oh yeah, I think we got access to Jade Metal Alignment. It's a very metal website. Welcome to Jade Metal Alignment. We all attend your record as number one bonds manufacturer. We lead the munitions industry in the OC. We also manufacture civilian vehicles in addition to bonds and assault weapons. I hope you enjoy our display of state-of-the-art technology, backed by experience and thorough research data. Well then. Jadlil Maiman is... are the producers of the Zanislav. Pagini. And Azeros. Complete with Baton. And that is it. Does as love being one of our first uh, fixed attackers and G being a high power machine and oh new generator the XL two thousand is that so output generation if we continue to use this generator is using all the volunteers starting with the Zeros and has proven to be much more durable than generators made by other companies and Zeros is a more melee oriented suit. $100 continuous operation test showed only an 8% output deterioration in the XL2000. Some simulation tests indicated even more favorable result in battle. In tests, our Vonsers with the XL2000 are markedly superior to Solar Mount Leonardo Vonsers. You know, I think we did check those out in the other video. Hmm. Other? Oh yeah, we went the lost way. Anyway, 
Singapore. I think we checked out Papel. Yeah, we did. Other money maker. This is Eden's personal website. We have a one and a two. We checked out the one, I think. The two. I have a strip that came up suddenly, so I'll be able to run this site for a little while. Contact me drugs by email. You must be doing well to go on a business trip. If you're going to be down here, I need to talk to you. Contact me. Holy. I need to type a comment, Eliza. Let me make sure I run. If anyone cares, stick a crack at it. Let me know. You it's Alfonso's. I recommend us getting the underground ROM. There are movies of Parliamenter. I can get it if you want. Well, then. Not much else we can do here. And now back to creepy music. In case you enjoyed this internet browsing, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.